No, I'm going to say puddle. Late change. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm not even Australian. All right, guys, so I came across this BuzzFeed quiz and it is basically questioning everything that, I, everything that I've ever been, everything that I am. It's, it basically says, can you get 40 out of these 50 questions? Prove you're Australian. And so we gave it a go. And this is what I'll say. The result's going to surprise you. It definitely surprised me. Definitely surprised me. So play along if you want, see how you go. See if you are more or less Australian than I am. Let's get into it. Okay, why is Emi and Kangaroo depicted on Australia's Commonwealth coat of arms? Okay, can't walk backwards. Have heard that before because the animals are national icons. I mean, also surely true um, because these animals are deceptively dangerous. That is true as well, but probably not why they're on the coat of arms because they're high in population of people. Okay, it's definitely gonna be one of these top two. I'm gonna say top left. I've heard that. It's a classic schoolyard fact. All right, cool. We're on for a good start here. Can't walk backwards. They are thought to represent the nation moving forward. Beautiful. How many states does Australia have? Okay, I feel like this is a classic. Uh, if it's a trick question, it's not counting things like territories. So we've got, I need to just do this from the left to right. Western Australia, not Northern Territory, South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, oh, Victoria, and Tasmania. Okay, it's six. The correct answer is six. Okay, good. I thought it was gonna trick me, but we, we're onto this thing, we're onto this. What year did Australia get their first female Prime Minister? I think it was Gillard. So Kevin 07, K Rudd. Did he get kicked out for Gillard? Let's try 2009. Dang it. Ooh, we were so close. It was Gillard. Okay. Gillard Prime Minister 2010 to 13. Yeah. Which famous Aussie sang the song Tanterfield Sadler? I don't know any of these. Peter Allen? Great. Where in Australia is the town Tenterfield located? Is that what this is from? Right. Uh, surely just Queensland. New South Wales? Are you serious? Never heard of that place in my life. Three hours drive west of Byron Bay. So basically what you're saying is it's in the middle of nowhere. Which of these famous actors was not born in Australia? Phoebe Tonkin, Russell Crowe. Yeah, it's him. He's from New Zealand. We claim him, but he's from New Zealand. Yeah. And it says we claim him. Yeah, we do. It's so true. How many joeys can a kangaroo have at one time? Oh, what? I'm just going one. I'm going one. Three. I don't want to know about that. No, thanks. What constellation is depicted on the Australian flag? Southern Cross. Everyone knows that one. That's an easy one. All right. Who is the only Australian to win a Nobel Prize for literature? Um, okay. Here's the thing. I've never heard of any of these people except for Henry Lawson. He is a poet. But I don't think he's winning a Nobel Prize. So we're going Joan. Damn. Okay, we've lost, I think we've lost two already. This is not good. What does the second verse of Australia, Events Australia Fair start with? Uh, yes, Beneath Our Radiant Southern Cross. Yeah, there you go. We usually only sing one. What is the town Cubapedi famous for? Uh, yeah, opals. I think they're big opals. Yeah. And is it Cubapedi as well? Maybe it's like underground, a lot of them. Not sure. Another fun fact, they also live underground. I mean, who's writing the quiz? Who's writing the quiz? Australia is home to big things. Which one of these is not real? Okay, here we go. Been to a lot of these. Uh, big Bogan, never heard of it, but sounds good. Big Pineapple, yes. Big Banana, yes. Big Kanga. Hmm. Okay, so these two, 100% real. Big Bogan, never heard of it. Big Kanga, feels like if it was real, I would have heard of it. Because Kangaroo, like, it's pretty iconic. I'm gonna say it's not real. Yep. Uh, Australia has a wild population of camels, true or false? Very true, and there's tons of them. I don't know where they are, because I don't see them, but they are, apparently there's like more camels than kangaroos and maybe even people in Australia in the desert. So what's the name of Australia's largest working cattle station? Don't know. These two are great names. It's going to be one of these two. I'm going to say Ruby Plains. Anna Creek Station. Okay, there you go. Oh, we must be getting close. I don't know how many we got wrong, but oh, scary. Okay, how many medals did Australia win in the 2016 Olympics? Uh, 25. 29? What? Eight gold. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do you call a group of platypuses? Paddle, puddle, poddle, piddle. I'm gonna say, I don't know. I'm gonna say paddle. No, I'm gonna say puddle, late change. 
Oh my gosh, maybe I'm not even Australian. In what sport did Stephen Bradbury win his 2002 Olympic gold medal in? Uh, it was speed skating. Yep, that's the one where everyone fell over. Does it say that? Yep. Great. If you haven't seen it, great clip. Go and look that up. Just type in Stephen Bradbury. 100%. That's the thing that'll pop up first. Which of these technologies n did an Australian not help invent? Okay. No clue. But if we, if we had a hand in inventing the other three, I feel like that should be more well known. I'm going USB. Yes, let's go. Um, we did invent Bluetooth, I'm pretty sure, in Australia. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure we did. So there you go. What's the name of this animal? That's cassowary. Uh, Dunny Do, real place in Australia, true or false? Ah, uh, Dunny Do is from the castle. I think it's real. Yeah, small town New South Wales. What year did the Sydney Harbour Bridge open? I'll go 28. 32. Mm, okay. I knew it was old. Didn't know how old. What nationality was the architect of the Sydney Opera House? Now, I'm pretty sure without looking at the answers, I think he was Dutch. Okay, he might have been Danish. I think that's why I was thinking Dutch. Yes, I know they're not the same thing at all, but you, you get it. I think he was like, a, uh, I think no one knew him. Like he was fully unknown artist and he kind of like came out of nowhere and scammed his way through into it. Not in, in a good way. I don't know. Look it up. Uh, how many times has Australia won a gold medal in netball at the Commonwealth Games? Gold medal? No idea. Three? Feels good. Feels good. Finish the lyric. Have you ever loved and lost somebody? Loves not so much. I thought about other people. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Yes. Strange things happen when you're going around the twist. Uh, all right. What is the name given to a male kangaroo? Is it a boomer? I thought that was just like a colloquial term. Hmm. Okay. Who is Miles Franklin? Hmm. Singer? Author? Oh, we must be getting close. That's not good. We must be very close to getting 10 wrong, I reckon. Who is Australia's head of state? I don't know what this stuff means. People don't know this stuff. Okay, Prime Minister, surely like head of the country. Queen, head of that person. Governor General, maybe. President isn't real. Okay, let's go Governor General. Okay, I just don't understand what head of state means, I'll be honest. I mean, Queensland and right. Surely it's king these days. So you're wrong, BuzzFeed. What NRL club joined with the Balmain Tigers in 1999? Wait, really? They've come and gone. Maybe the Magpies? Okay. In what region was Qantas established? Qantas. Does, Queen Does Qantas stand for Queensland? Yeah. The name stands for Queensland and Northern Territory Aer Aerial Services. There you go. 1940. 1920? What planes do they have? Holy dooly. They were flying around in Spitfires back then. Who was the first woman to win the Melbourne Cup? Shell Payne. Yep. Don't know. What is the name of the highway that links WA to SA via the Nullarbor Plain? Let's go Golden. Fire. Oh man, this 10. I don't know what we're up to, but 10 is not looking good at this point. What's the most northern point in Australia? Cape York. What is the name of the road that travels past the 12 Apostles? Great Ocean Road. Been there a few times. Which is the largest desert in Australia? Uh, Simpson. Great Victorian? Never heard of it. What were Burke and Wills trying to discover? Inland Australia from east to west? Surely not. Way to cross from north to south. That sounds good. Let's do that. Yeah, nice. Which of these is not a section of Great Barrier Reef? Don't know. Let's go Cockatoo. Stingray. Which one of these things can you not find in Broome, WA? Dinosaur footprints? I've heard you can. Drop bears aren't real. Cool. What is the name of the train that runs between Sydney and Perth? Indian Pacific. Sounds great. Yeah. Love that. What island in WA can you find the famous Quokkas? Let's say Cockatoo. Rottenest, never even heard of it. How many Logie Awards did popular did the popular McLeod's Daughters win? No clue. Let's go eight. Yeah. Big big show. Big show. Home and Away is set on Summer Bay. Never watched it, but have heard of that. Names of the mascots. Okay, haven't even looked at this yet. Millie. Ollie. Sid. Bang. Um, what was the name of the film starring Hugh Jackman and Cole Kim is set in Australia? Wasn't it called Australia? Yeah. The Bogan Shire is a real region of Queensland, true or false? Sounds real. Should be. Who is Australia's longest serving Prime Minister? I think John Howard. Uh, could be any of these old blokes though, but I think John Howard. Robert Menzies. What happens if you touch a gimpy gimpy plant? I feel like I'd know. If it was like dangerous, I feel like we'd know. I'm going to go peppermint. Stung. I don't know what this plant is. What was Hobart, the capital of Tasmania, originally called? 
Hobart town. Love that. Very creative here in Australia. Uh, Australia has more sheep and people. True or false? I'm going to say false. That's New Zealand. Oh, it is true. And it's like triple. Wow. And lastly, what is the nickname of the Sydney Harbour Bridge? Whatever this is, is probably not real because I've never heard of it. I'm going to say dish rack. Doesn't look like a coat hanger, surely. Nah, no, dish rack. Coat hanger? We got 30? Oh my gosh. Ah, well, guess I'm not, guess I'm not Australian.